Hello everyone, welcome to our episode of Showcase um, Bloodborne. Now is one of the few uh, firearms left, I think it's the only firearm left. I'm going to do the Church Cannon. An oversized weapon used by the Healing Church. A type of cannon that fires a curvy trajectory and creates an explosive upon impact. Originally designed for use of brawny men with deteriorating brains, that's a great idea, not just for an ordinary hunter. But the man lacked the wits and efficiency to operate the firearm. No shit. <laughs> and the weapon was quietly bought and rehearsed into permanent storage. It just sounds like a bad idea, both on paper, implemented, and executed. But, could be used better. Uh, now, I did review the cannon, and we see the problems with that. And I think the church cannon capitalizes on a couple of those problems and fixes a couple of them. Not entirely, but improves them, I should say. So, visually, the uh, church cannon reminds me a lot of the uh, Resident Evil 4 Mind Thrower. I'll just throw an image in the corner here. Visually, uh, not so much, but how it's held, yes. But is it just as useless as the said uh, Mind Thrower? Because that weapon is fucking terrible. <laughs> but, uh, but yes, I think it's more useful in terms of that. But enough speculation about that, let's move on to some animation. Okay, for one big change between this and a normal cannon, uh, you can fire this naturally three times using all the blood bullets. So that's already a big nice leap above the normal cannon. But however, this thing fires an arc, not very straight. Although, at this range, I wouldn't even fire the normal cannon either. <laughs> so it makes a little difference. So yes, that has a gigantic advantage where the other cannon can only fire three times with blood bullets and not unnatural augmentation through ruins. This one could do it three times naturally. Although no more than that. But that way, that way it saves up a ruin, so that's already a good positive on top of that. And fire just as quick. Going on to the stats for the church cannon, we can see the blood damage, and you can even see the normal cannon up there is slightly less than standard cannon, although the bonus damage is slightly better. So I think it's double the bonus damage. Well, that's better, so let's uh, keep up with the normal cannon in terms of damage, but not so much that it's left in the dust. Going on to special stats, the Quicksilver Bullet is only used for 10, so you can fire it three times. Going on to a tree bonus, you only get an E for blood tinge, same as the cannon. But in tree requirements, you need 27 strength and 16 blood tinge. A little bit different from the cannon, which required more strength, but also skill, when the other one didn't require blood tinge at all. So interesting in its own right. So the question is, is the church cannon better to use than the standard cannon? In my opinion, yes. You'll see after upgrading it. So for an upgrade, you got a good ch good chunk of blood damage, roughly 30 or so. <laughs> so plenty. Bonus damage, about 15 to 18. So it's pr pretty good, pretty good. So yeah, in the end, the cannon will be stronger. But you can only cannon, uh, fire the cannon twice, naturally. Where the church cannon can fire three times. And you see with the bonus damage, it's plenty compared to the regular cannon. And base damage, good enough. It's not it's lacking about a hundred damage, but that's an extra shot you can get in there pretty easily compared to the standard cannon. However, like the standard cannon, you cannot be fitted with any blood gem. So oh well. Going on to performance with the church cannon. Well, it does plenty of damage. Plenty. But you gotta refill that blood, those blood bullets every time. Let's see with some bone mirage. And plenty of damage. <laughs> Next, I wanted to test the general explosive range. Now, this is probably the best shot I got of hitting multiple opponents, but it's pretty good. I'd say it's roughly one meter from the impact area, so it's not super big, but it's pretty big. Big enough, I should say. However, as you see, it cannot get through a wooden shield. <laughs> uh, ludicrous. And you usually run out of ammo still, so it's not perfect. Now, how well is it going to get uh, the Butcher or Executioner? Mm, well, the main problem I have with fighting other opponents of this is forgetting to re redo my bullets. <laughs> so as much as I forget my bullet mirage and I keep forgetting everything else, and I gotta refill the blood bullets, it leaves me open for counterattack pretty easily. Otherwise, plenty of damage. Same pros and cons as the cannon. Now, speaking of the pros and cons, let's do that for the church cannon. On the pros, 
the weapon fires naturally three times, with no augmentation. Unlike the can the natural the plain cannon. Get my cannon mixed up. <laughs> you only fire twice naturally. The church cannon also has significantly better bonus damage, so those with heavy blood tinge ball builds will benefit better from this weapon than say the natural cannon. Also, uh, it's a bit easier to wield in terms of those stats, since you don't need 30 strength and you don't need a bunch of skill. You actually just need ball to bit of, quite a bit of strength still, but yeah, naturally blood tinge. Alright. Going on to the cons for the church cannon. It's pretty much the same as the regular cannon. You got very few shots. Why having one more shot isn't a big isn't really that great compared to my the firearm. <laughs> it's still incredibly slow. And the thing is, a bad idea to use a long range compared to every other weapon, given its awkward firing angle. That's something unique to it compared to, to the plain cannon. So yeah. Yeah. Okay, enough pros and cons, going on to the score. Now, for damage, it's pretty much again pretty much 10 out of 10, same as a regular cannon. There's enough bonus damage to make up for the lack of damage from the plain cannon. Speed is still 1 out of 10, it's still a very, very slow weapon that you cannot parry with which I'll put in the cons probably by now. <laughs> bonus though is significantly better. I'm gonna give that a 7 out of 10. It's actually a usable bonus, but it's not super great, but it's there. It's mainly because of the overall damage of the weapon itself. This place, I'm gonna give a 5 out of 10. I still don't like the cannon. Still don't. Still think it's a pretty cumbersome weapon that's pretty useless. But this one is significantly better than the regular cannon, mainly on the three, fire, three shots you can fire. But managing the blood bullets can be annoying and leave you open. That goes for both cannons. So in total, the church cannon gets 23 out of 40. It's good. Where the plain cannon I call bad, this one improves upon everything to make it usable and user-friendly somewhat. So that's the name of this weapon. Somewhat more user-friendly. <laughs> so yes, I still like cannons. I still think they're incredibly cumbersome. Sure, they're good for taking out big chunks of health from a boss, but that's a very key point you have to choose because this weapon's still slow as molasses. But that's simply my opinion in the end. And that's been Showcase Patelic. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you guys next time. Take care out there.